Oh, let me give you this one tip that will make it so much better. You have no idea. So what I find with people is they tense up and then they try to crank through that lock. And then I see people who are good and what they do is they use their body to crank through that lock. So it's almost like people try and punch. What they do is they throw their hips in their body and they throw their hand. I've shown this video repeatedly. When I punch, a lot of times I'll throw my hand, I'll throw my body, and then at the end my hand goes like this because it gets my hand out quicker and it gives a better strike. Joint lock is really the same thing. When you grab a joint lock, ideally what you want to do is you want to try and put it to a position where you feel like it bites in nicely and you've got that tip point. Then you add the body and then you add the hands. So instead of body hand, it's hand body hand. That's going to take a little bit to register. So I'll give you something to practice with so you understand it. So take any joint lock you have and without putting anything into it at first, what I want you to do is just take your hands and feel like you get that little bite into it first. Right, right there. See how you moved? Then what I want you to do is drop your weight. Now, here's where people screw this up. This hand has to continuously move all the time. I said hand, body, hand, just to give you an idea how it works, but that's kind of a lie. If I go hand, then body, then hand, there's a point where there's slack and I lose him. Realistically, the hand bites in, my body starts to move, but while my body's moving, this hand continues to move. So it's like, hand, the weight drops, but this continues. So if I go like this first, and then this, I kind of lose it. If I go here, then here, then here, I lose it. But if you get that bite on, start to drop the weight, and then finish your weight through it, it works so much better. And that works with all joint locks, right? You want to be into this thing, you want to get that first bite, get the body involved, and then continue it. So when you do it, when you get that first bite, it doesn't stop here. It doesn't go grab, body, then hand. Once it grips, this starts to move. This hand starts to move and it's one unit now. Everything moves together. Everything has to continue. You know, it's not grip, body, push, because you kind of lose it at that point. It's kind of grip, body, push together. And then you have one fluid motion. Play with it, it's a fine point. You gotta kind of feel, all right, I got this in, my body now works and my hand comes together and there's this at the end. If you play with that a lot and you experiment with that, I think you'll find that your joint locks will go on, not just quicker, but you'll have so much more of a bite on it. And do it slow at first, but you'll learn is down the road, you have to learn how to put them on quicker. Now you'll see I'm stopping there just a little bit because I don't want to really torque into them. But if I was really doing it, there'd be like a like a, a wave to it. You know what I mean? Be crank. So take your time, start slow. When you get better partners, see how you can speed it up. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please check out these next two. I think they'll really help you in your training.